there these these people that are in the organization that run that the council of, of 13 is under is and they have something called the Grand Druid Council or the Octagon, is they are called the Illuminati. Is and they have something called the Grand Druid Council or the Octagon. Is and they have something called the Grand Druid Council or the Octagon. And there these these people that are in the organization that run that the Council of, of 13 is under is and they have something called the Grand Druid Council or the Octagon is they're called the Illuminati and the Illuminati are actually run by these 13 bloodlines which are all of the royal families in in Europe and, and uh, in England and um, they um, need the blood because they are, in fact, not human. They take human shape. They are reptilians. A few weeks ago, someone sent me the David Icke interview with Arizona Wilder from 1998. And as I don't have a place where I can work, I watched it in a corner of a McDonald's. And what really struck me was that at 12 minutes and 50 seconds, she talks about the Octagon organization by the enemy within the aristocracy. As I've shown here in my video, Octagon, the empire of darkness. And in 1998, nobody knew about the Octagon secret military order of the Knights Templars except the initiated ones. So this means to me that Arizona Wilder must have gone truly through the initiation process and all the rituals going with that. I mean, this is 22 years ago and way time before YouTube, which started only six years later in 2004. In those days, we only had the lamestream media and even before the wake-up call of 9-11 and the complete lie concerning building number seven. And as they lied about building number seven, everything the lamestream tells us is a lie, like this so-called virus authority nightmare we're in. Anyway, the ones who rule us are cold, ruthless and heartless, and hardly to be described as human. And I filmed reptilian statues all over, as this one here, on a sacrificial ritual site in an ancient Templar commandery, where I had a narrow escape with death. So one thing is positively certain, that Arizona Wilder truly is an initiate, because otherwise she wouldn't have known about the Octagon organization as early as 1998, and still 20th century. And even now, while writing down the script or textbook, I just realized right now that the logo of the notebook I just grabbed here is showing the concept of three for the circle, the concept of four for the square behind, meaning square and compass for the initiated, which I explain in my video series, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil, in three parts. So from left to right, the logo shows the circle for the compass and a square, who are chronologically all coming from Pharaoh and therefore the pyramid to the right. Also the square and compass are the tools to draw a pyramid. With the 90, 90 degrees square, one can draw a square and base of a pyramid. And with the compass, which stands at 60 degrees, one can draw a three times 60 degrees triangle or the side of a pyramid. Three plus four is seven, being the holy number of a pyramid, being represented by the G in between being the number seven letter 
in the alphabet. And watch the compass throwing an oval shadow, therefore the name the Oval Office, as the Oval Office is just a shadow of the real masters behind the screens pulling all the strings, the Freemasons. So where's that company from? Oh yes, they're from Switzerland, of course. Yeah, it says CH, Confederatia Helvetica, Winterthur, Baden, Detwil. Look at this logo here underneath the paper. You see, there's seven gates in it. Seven gates of hell, probably, eh, Swissy? And this is the concept of three and the concept of four all together. That makes seven. It's another way of, like, making the G in between the square and compass, eh? And even the paper is by Swissy. They even put a stamp on it everywhere. Quality, quality, it says. Schweizer Qualität seit 1906 in, in three languages here. Yeah. Swiss quality, yes. So here you can see the oval in between the rings, the oval office. Eh? So the oval comes out of the Vesica Piscas, like in the logos of Audi, Mastercard, Gucci, etc which is a chain of command, meaning one for all and all for one. Which is a Knights Templar saying, as in the Latin, unus pro omnibus, omnes pro uno, standing at the ceiling of the Swiss Parliament, the first New World Order democracy in the entire world, from 1291. It means they are highly organized, and you are standing alone, dummy. Therefore, they show all this Superman fantasies in movies, so you keep on believing the wrong way, that you can do it all by yourself. Here it says 1291 with the Swiss coat of arms, the Swiss flag, unus, unus pro omnibus, omnis pro uno, one for all, all for one. Here you see the Swiss Templar kneeling, and it's, uh, here it says 1st of August, Swiss Independence Day since 1291. Uh, independence. And here, look at the logo. This is a site, the Swiss Defense League. Uh -huh, okay, eh? Defending from whom, eh? And here it says, this man is your friend, and he's Russian. So what, the, what does that mean? What does that imply? Well, that the Americans probably are the enemy, or what? Eh? They're hiding it again. And look at this logo. Why is this one grey? And these, these are black in the Swiss flag here, and they're all squares. Because here's a line of three, and all together there are four. It's a concept of three and four, and they all know it, people. They all know it, eh? Hey, Swiss, eh? There are these, these people that are in the organization that run, that the Council of, of 13 is under, is and they have something called the Grand Druid Council or the Octagon. Is they're called the is and they have something called the Grand Druid Council or the Octagon. So seeing the concept of three and four, even on the very paper I just found to write this all down. So I'll finish this short video with the Freemason footprint, or rather knee print, of their concept of four and three square and compass in the murder of George Floyd with three cops sitting on him and the fourth supervising the kill. In the murder of Lady Diana with four people in the car and three died. It's a concept of three and four. And you all see the oval where she is buried, meaning she was killed by an organization, as in one for all and all for one, meaning the Swiss octagon did the kill. Thus coming back where we started, with Arizona Wilder and Octogon, just a few months after the murder of Diana. ...called the Grand Druid Council or the Octagon. And in Switzerland, the horrific satanic ritual by Thomas Nick in Rupertsville on Winter Solstice 2015, ritually butchering three children and one adult. So four people in total, 
concept of three and four all over it. I had an important video about that on my deleted channel Gure, which is now gone forever. And they have something called the Grand Druid Council or the Octagon.